previously on Balls. Hello. Hey, Johnny, how's it going? You well, bud? All right, and you? Hello, Emma. So, so it's good home. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Johnny. Well, <laughs> they, lo- they still love back. you, John, because I heard that welcome <laughs> was quite welcoming. I've still got it, buddy. There you go. It's <laughs> <laughs> a lot of breath as well after a hard practice today with series, eh? No, I got the day off today, so I just a little bit of gym in the morning. So okay. Yeah, but I just got back. Yeah. So all the meetings are not done. So you, is, why am I the best have to watch on the sideline at three degrees? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thanks for giving us a bit of time to chat to you uh, today. How's it going there, right? Very good, yeah. yeah. We had a good one on the weekend, and uh, we got all our big boys back, and all the internationals are back, so it's, uh, it's a pretty tough two weeks, back to Hagen Cup. So we've got Munster for, uh, for two weeks in a row, away first in Tom and Park, and then at home. So I'll see my hobbit friend, BJ Boerta, on the weekend. Fantastic, <laughs> sending my regards. And uh, there's a disturbing trend of South Africans we've been talking to playing over there. Uh, all saying we want to extend for another couple of years, you want to carry on playing, Bucky's wants to stay in Toulon for 10 years. Um, all these guys, <laughs> what's going on over there? It's, it's, they're getting, even, even your staunch Pretoria guys aren't getting homesick. I uh, know, it's crazy. Uh, Bucky's is, is, for me, the guy that, I, that I've been surprised by because he's loving it in Toulon and having a great time. So um, I think it's just, it's just good because it's such a different experience. So the guys sort of lap it up. And you have a key difference, really, and it's not something to moan about. It's just... It, it's, it's not there's, there's nowhere near the amount of pressure on, on rugby players here as there is back home you know mm. sort of um, Monday morning's national mood doesn't depend on how the how the yeah. team on Saturday so, so they've got, we've got football for that so over uh, yeah, here rugby sort of just you just keep, sort of get, carry on with it you know? yeah well I suppose it does help when England slaughter the All Blacks eh it does yeah so you know I've got a few world champion uh, teammates back this week so hopefully that lasts a long time there we go <laughs> were you talking about the English players yeah, that's all right. good. it's good because it's all for safe. At least they've come back having beaten a good team and now we've got these different world internationals back. So world champion. Saturday. World champion. We actually spoke to Brad a little earlier on. Had a nice chat with him. Nice that he got his uh, his first international try. Yes, very good game for him as well. Yeah, so uh, it, was a good, it was a result England needed, to be honest. Uh, mm. I suppose they had a little bit of de- desperation coupled with uh, the All Blacks who looked pretty flat and not quite themselves. So either way, I think England were delighted by the result. Does it put our Springbok uh, win over England the week before in perspective or England just so much better this week? Yeah, we take whatever we can get. Of course it does. Okay, oh. there we go. One point. <laughs> nice that's, as if you were saying, just one point, that's all it takes. As long as it's a point, it's a win. <laughs> yeah. all, right. all right. Now, the Rugby World Cup draw done, uh, done yesterday, and uh, we've managed to avoid the group of death. We've once again drawn Samoa, so I wonder which one of yeah. them is lining up Pat Lambie already for 2015, because <laughs> it's tradition that one yeah. of them gets lined up. Um, but, yeah, a pretty friendly group for us. Tell me who it is. Uh, it will be news to me. Oh, yes. so okay, Scotland, Samoa, and then we'll probably, uh, it's Asia 1, so that'll probably be Japan, and, and then, uh, no. not Euro, America's 2, America's so it's one of yeah. Canada or America, probably. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so it's definitely the, the craziest group, but I think probably probably good for us to have a Samoa in there. Hmm. Scotland will be okay, I, I suppose they'll be better by, by 15, but uh, Samoa, I think, are going to get better and better. They're already making... Um, Strides internationally. I mean, you know, probably feel a little aggrieved as to how they came out of the last World Cup, but mm. they have incredible players and they all play here. So it's uh, that'll probably be a tough game for us. The one that we'll need, I suppose, to progress further. Well, some people are already doing maths and stuff, and uh, I think you'll probably. I think I know what you're probably going to say, but the guys are saying maybe it's better for us to finish second in our group. We'd have to try really hard to try and do that. Uh, because um, then we'd only meet the All Blacks in the final if everything goes the way it is. Yeah. But, I mean, that's a silly thing to say, and especially 2007, we would never have predicted our path that we had. 100%. I mean, and what, 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 when we spoke about Ireland uh, in the World Cup last year? Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, to do that, look, it's what people keeps people busy, to make do all the maths and do all the criteria. At the end of the day, seven weeks, seven wins, and then it's yours. All right. And uh, Group of Death, the other one that's uh, that's key, um, New yeah. Zealand have got a pretty friendly group as well, but the group of death: Australia, Wales, and England. Sure. Yeah, that's a tough one. Uh, I think there yeah, you've got to sort of give the advantage towards England. England do have potential within their group, and wins like this will only make mm. them harder opposition. They'll be at home. There'll be a huge amount of support and pressure. I mean, if I only look at the kind of influence London and England had on 
the Olympics and their athletes, it'll be pretty much the same for the team as well. So, they, uh, to be honest, if the, I can see them topping that group, uh, which is a big call now. There's still lots to go, and Australia aren't where they probably should be. But you know, it's a, it's going to be a, a, a tough group. There. You know, as you look at it now, you think to yourself, it'll be between us and um, and England. Yeah. In my, in my opinion, England taking it on current form. I see England getting better and better. I do see Australia improving once they get some of their injured players back. Um, I know. I suppose Wales are the ones that need to stop worrying a little bit. Well, they will be at Millennium Stadium because I think they'll play their home games, most of their home games there. I know they did send a message through saying it would be nice if England came and played the uh, their game uh, at the Millennium Stadium, which was kind of a bit of a laugh because England came straight back and said, no thanks, we'll play our home World Cup at Twickenham. Yeah, it doesn't make a lot of sense. You've got to try. <laughs> well, credit. Yeah, if you don't ask, you never know. Mm. All right. <laughs> and uh, Barnes, just quickly before we let you go, your trip back to South Africa. Now you were back for a week. I think you were at the what was the teddy bear teddy bear clinic or something with as part of Barney's <laughs> army and stuff. Where, where? it was uh, a whirlwind five days in Durban. Yeah, so we started off with the um, the opening of the field of the Live Village, uh, which was awesome. Mm. It's just incredible to see the kids and already kicking, going crazy on the field and then the next day with Bobby Bear and uh, uh, Bobby Bear and, that's and, the one yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's, it's you know it's the kids who struggle and uh, and then have these outlets of survival and, and hope and, and uh, this is what Liv produced but it's, it's it's hard as a South African to think that this is necessary for our kids but anyway we're trying what we, to do whatever we can and uh, hopefully we can carry on raising money and, and helping uh, helping these charities Absolutely. Well, uh, some great work there as well. And uh, we thank you for your time this evening. You can go and put your feet up uh, in front of the TV, a nice uh, beer, and just relax this evening after your hard day's uh, you German much, stuff. Yeah. Appreciate your time with us, thank John. You. Thanks very much. Thanks bro. so much, John. All right, guys. Have a good day. You too. Bye. Cheers. Bye. Bye. John Smith, wrapping it up for us on uh, Balls Radio today. This is Balls Visual Radio. Darren, Simon, Kate, and John. Weekdays from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Central African time. Balls.co.za